Why do some people or businesses seem to continually make good decisions while others struggle along? We often say that a person has business acumen, but what does this really mean? One way of describing someone who has business acumen is if they are able to make instinctive, intuitive decisions that help a business grow profitably. A sense of trusting your gut. To do this, you have to understand how an organisation works and how it achieves its business goals. When Qantas considers its strategic options, it has a wide range of possible flight destinations, IT projects, marketing concepts and staffing methods that it could choose to pursue. So, how do we decide which ideas are best and should be pursued and those that should be set aside? Business acumen may look like gut instinct, but in reality, it is a multi-layered decision-making framework that helps us prioritise and decide where to focus our attention. It requires a combination of business, personal and leadership skills. It just looks like instinct because those who do it properly seem to do it automatically. So what are the layers or lenses through which we view each option that we are talking about here? Firstly, we have to ask, what's important for Qantas? Its vision is to be a great airline and its values include being experienced, optimistic, inventive and genuine. There are also eight principles that must always be met, including commitment to safety, acting with honesty and integrity, and being committed to environmental sustainability. So, if something doesn't meet this set of criteria, it's automatically off the list, or it needs to be reviewed and changed before resubmission. A project to improve training for pilots to handle dangerous situations? Tick. Signing up to a lower cost aeroplane lease to save money even though the safety record is not as high? Obviously out. Next, does it stack up financially and from a risk perspective? We have to make sure it's profitable and helps us generate growth. We can't strive to achieve the vision unless we make a profit. Satisfied customers are needed for financial success, so a clear customer focus is required. What do Qantas customers expect? A certain level of service and support and flights that leave on time. Comfortable seats, a wide range of movies and well-stocked fridges in the lounges. So, if the broad concept meets these major criteria, we can start exploring further. Is there a customer market that is big enough to support the initiative? If it is an internal project, we need to ask if it will lead to significant improvements in the way Qantas operates. Are there enough resources to get the job done and the skills to do it right? And what impact will this have on other activities and projects throughout the business? Someone who is deeply involved in the Qantas culture can evaluate this rapidly and often without a formal checklist because they work through all these areas in their head. But to build up that head knowledge, you need to spend time in the business, thinking, wrestling with these concepts constantly. Once a proposal has passed the initial test of alignment, the next stage is to move into business planning, which combines operations, marketing and finance. Accountants provide a valuable service here by providing financial projections, forecasts and analysis along with incorporation of non-financial factors. Setting performance measures as targets or benchmarks and then evaluating the implementation of the project to ensure it is on track is another valuable contribution made by accountants. To recap, to be a successful business partner or advisor, you need to understand the business, the industry, the values, vision and culture of the organisation to properly demonstrate business acumen. A wide range of soft skills and technical skills are required for you to execute this effectively.